the chimpanzee. It's one of our closest living relatives, sharing around 96% of our DNA. Some of the similarities are clear to see. Studies of young chimpanzees have shown that they play in much the same way as humans. Games like peekaboo, tickling, and rough and tumble. They certainly know how to have a good time. All this play has its advantages. They're extremely inquisitive. And their curiosity makes them good at solving problems. Primatologist Edwin van Leeuwen has come to the Uganda Wildlife Education Centre to study some of the benefits of primate play. This chimpanzee is, is four years old and it's, a, it's, a, it's an age that they play a lot and find fun in, in discovering new things. This is what I love about chimpanzees and working with them, their, their inquisitiveness and their, their genuine interest in the, the world around them. With interest comes discovery. So the chimpanzee is clearly intrigued by the handkerchief. It, it's trying every possible thing that it can think of, folding it and, and unfolding it and trying to tear it apart, uh, putting the handkerchief over its face and thereby exploring all possible ways that it can use the handkerchief. The chimpanzees and, and actually animal species in general, that they play a lot, they are better adapted, they have more like tools in their behavioral repertoire to deal with the, the, the challenges in life. By experimenting like this, the chimpanzees have a way of trying new things and making discoveries. Scientists call this creative play. Creative play is a highly complex and specialised area within the play behaviours. It's where imagination and this sense of exploration really bubble to the surface. And it's associated with some of the most intelligent species on Earth. Play is the source of creativity and new ways of dealing with the world. So many people who are inventors or artists or scientists, it's often viewed that they are playing. This kind of creative play prevents animals from becoming fixed on certain false endpoints. False endpoints refer to when an animal thinks it's found the best solution to a problem. Something that works well enough. And so it stops looking for alternative solutions. But by continuing to play, the animal might eventually come up with that something that works even better. So, creative play can lead to new solutions to old problems. Take something basic, like drinking from a water hole. The simplest solution might be to lower your mouth to the water. But when the level drops, the chimp can only rely on a solution he's found through creative play.
This is a perfect example of overcoming false endpoints. Uh, the chimpanzees normally crouch down to drink water, and when it doesn't work anymore, they have to find another solution. And they learn these new solutions by means of play. And here we saw that the chimpanzee was then using its hands to form it in a cup and then bring the water to its mouth. So it had a new way of solving the same problem. For chimpanzees and a few other select species, it's thought that creative play has led to one game-changing discovery. Tool use. By playing with natural resources, like sticks, the chimps found new and creative ways of using them. For a long time, humans considered themselves as the only species with the ability to use tools. And we now know that many species use tools and that chimpanzees are among the most proficient of those species. Edwin has set up a well-known experiment in which the chimps use sticks to get a tasty treat. So I have put honey in this termite mount and what we're hopefully are going to see is that the chimpanzees are going to use tools to extract the honey from the termite mount. All that's needed now are some sweet toothed volunteers. To get their hands on the high energy reward inside, the chimps need to get creative. They know the sticks could be the perfect tool. But not all are up to the job. Some less experienced individuals might use less efficient tools with all the leaves still on it. Through creative play, the more experienced individuals have worked out how to fashion tools that are more suitable. So here we have noticed that chimpanzees actually use tools to extract the honey from the termite mount and that some chimpanzees have been able to strip off the leaves to make the tools even more efficient, like we're seeing here. Thanks to previously playing with the sticks in this way, today they're able to get their reward. Chimpanzees derive a certain pleasure from uh, persistently trying things and things over and over again. Even when they don't work, they will still continue trying it. And then sometimes they're lucky. And I think that's one of the reasons that they get to these solutions to, to problems that other species cannot solve. So play can drive creative thinking allowing animals to find new ways to thrive in the wild. In recent decades, scientists have begun to see the many ways that play has helped species to adapt and survive. Whether it's improving motor skills, catching food, and even refining tools. But what if playtime were so powerful that it had benefits into old age? Perhaps one of the most surprising revelations has come from another troop of primates. Hey Love Nature fans, be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature, right here on YouTube.